The hardness of a certain alloy measured on the Rockwell scale is a random variable x with a uniform distribution from 50 to 75. What is the probability density function for x? Well, the probability density function for a uniform distribution will always be f of x equal to 1 over b minus a, where b is the upper bound and a is the lower bound. So in this case, this would be 1 over 75 minus 50 or 1 over 25. All right, and this is then existing for x between our lower bound of 50 and our upper bound of 75. All right, so this is our probability density function from 50 to 75. Now we want to draw the distribution. Well, the distribution of a uniform random variable it looks sort of like a box and the lower bound is then 50 with the upper bound of 75 and the height of our box is always going to be the height of our probability density function so that's 1 over b minus a or 1 over 25 and that's because all the probabilities of each value of a uniform random variable are equal to each other. So in this case, that's 1 over 25. All right, so now how do we calculate the expectation and the variance of x? Well, the expectation and variance of x, because this is a common distribution, all have the same expectation and variance if we know that it's a uniform distribution. So they have the same form. That's going to be b plus a over 2 for the expectation. This is of course 75 plus 50 over 2 which is equal to 62.5. All right and our variance of x is then equal to b minus a squared all over 12 which in this case is 75 minus 50 squared all over 12 which is equal to 625 over 12 which is equal to 52.083. All right, because this is a common distribution, then it's really nice. We don't have to do any integration to calculate those values. All right, so what is then the probability x is between 60 and 70? How can we find that? Well, this is where the integration comes in. One thing we could do is simply just draw this on our graph. 60 could be about here and 70 would be about here so we can shade it in we can kind of look at the region to get a sense of how much area under the curve that is and then we can integrate to find the exact probability so 60 up to 70 of 1 over 25 our probability density function with respect to x is simply just equal to x over 25 from 70 to 60 and this is equal to 70 over 25 minus 60 over 25 which is equal to 10 over 25 which is equal to 0 0.4 all right so this is then 40 percent so the probability that x is between 60 and 70 is equal to 0.4 so now we want to find the median hardness of the alloy. To find the median, we can calculate this just as we did with any general continuous random variable. This is then equal to the integration from the lower bound of 50 all the way up to then our placeholder, our median placeholder integrating over our function dx this has to be equal to 0 0.5 by definition of the median and so if we integrate this we again get x over 25 we want to evaluate this from 50 up to xm and this is of course still equal to 0 0.5 so this is equal to x M, that's what we're trying to find, our median value over 25 minus 50 over 25 equal to 0 
So now we just basically solve for our median value. And then this is then equal to Twenty-five times zero point five plus fifty, which is equal to sixty-two point five. All right, so our median is actually the exact same value as our mean or our expectation, and that is actually something that we should expect from a symmetric distribution like the uniform distribution. So that is how we can calculate the expectation, variance, probabilities, and median of a uniform random variable.